Today we're doing Kodiash. Kodiash, probably the first joint lock I would think that was probably ever invented. Very simple, like this, goes like that, right? You call it whatever you want, but the reality is, is it just twists. I would imagine that anyone that came at you with a stick or a rock or a knife, someone was just trying to pry this thing out and it just evolved naturally. Again, we're gonna go over the structure just really quick, and then we're gonna go over application. Structure is very simple. I want this to turn, and then I need it to go down, like that. There are a lot of variations. Some people like the fingers in, some people like one hand with the thumb there. I've seen people put on top of the knuckles. I don't care. Just remember, it turns, and then it goes down. It's a circle, and then straight, like a question mark. It's like a straight circle. I know that's a surprise. So as I do this, it goes like that, and he goes down. Uh, where you lose this is two things. If you take this out of the center of your body, you will lose strength. There's nothing there. It's gotta be kind of in that box. And number two, you don't want it to come in like this because once it goes to there, you kind of lose the structure of it, and it doesn't work. You kind of need this U. So, not unlike all of the other series, when I do this is because someone gave it to me. I can't tell you how many times someone will come at you with a knife, and you'll see this structure, you'll see the U, and you'll be able to just turn on it because it's there. Now, if he was like this, I wouldn't do that. I don't predetermine joint locks. If it shows up and you recognize the structure, then you don't need to rely on the lock. And what I mean by that is that everyone learns the one lock over and over again because that's what's in their head. Don't worry about the one lock. If you learned it like this, you should also learn it like this. You should also learn it like this. Right? You should learn it from the fingers. You should learn it from underneath. You should learn it from on top. Because if your hand ends up there, wherever it is, once you see this, you just understand you need to drop on it. It doesn't matter how you grip it. You just want to be able to drop on it quickly and use it. And again, if you want to make it really fast, like that, that's when the injuries happen. But keep in mind, ideally, you see that you, you see it away from the body with a little space, and however you end up with it, whether it's like this, whether it's like that, whether it's like this, or this, I don't care. Make sure, you see this, get used to dropping this weight on it, and it'll work for you. Don't rely on it. I mean, once you get into this position, you obviously have to do something that ends the fight. You just can't hold them there and smile at them. But it's a good lock to know. You can practice at home, just going like this over and over again. Practice different positions and angles on it all the time with your partners until it becomes just something that you do. And don't worry about the lock. See that and go, oh good, that's what I got, and it'll work for you. This is Bill Coney for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.